wait. Sweet. We were waiting. All right. Uh, so last week we told you we were getting a house under contract. We have that house under contract. Nice. And let yeah. me tell you, this is this is like the hottest like neighborhood in all of Des Moines right now. Well, I don't want to know. Don't tell I'm me. I'm not going to tell you. I'm yeah. not telling you. Everyone's going to steal it, so don't tell that's me. All, that's all I'm telling you. That's all I'm all right. telling you. But so basically, we're kind of having trouble getting a price on it just because like in the last three months, like all the houses like have shot up like 20, 30,000. Yeah. Like, re- like if Are you, you look on Zillow for the neighborhood, like every house is like plus 20, 30, like plus crazy. Yeah. And it's like, it's in a really nice area. Yeah. We're like, just having a we Tomorrow we drop off the earnest money and we're just trying to see... Um, by the way, two hundred fifty dollars earnest money. It is possible, everyone. That's everyone told us before it was like three thousand. Everyone we tried dealing with before, you can find someone that you can do two hundred fifty dollars earnest. Like it's not, it's not hard. Most buyers don't even know or care. Yeah, That's exactly. True. But um, yeah, we're kind of just having a hard time coming to a good number just because of the numbers are so crazy, and it's okay. only a small neighborhood. That's I mean, like- you already have it. You have it locked up for a certain price, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's just, let's do a, let's do some guesstimates. Give me guesstimates. Don't give me the real numbers. All right. What's a range of it being locked up for? 90 to 100. 90. Let's do 80 to 120. Okay. Let's be Maybe. a little more broad for me. All right. You're 80 to 120. Right. And the neighborhood, what is it going for? Usually the nicer houses, 175 to 100. Like there, it's a two bed, one. Bed. So there's also a weird thing on it. I'll give you that later, but two bed, one bath. Um, the ARVs are like 155 to like to up to 200. Yeah. Okay. Like the nice Zillow ones like that. Okay. So yeah, there seems to be some, do you think there's some meat on the bone where you get a Simon deal on this? Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, uh, for sure, like we, like, we don't know if we should like ask for 10 K more or 20 K more. Cause like that's, it, that's it's a really good questions. area. Yeah. yeah. It's a good problem to have. Right. Yeah, yeah, it is a good problem. So my best guess for you is I it's a rough game to have. Um, you have it locked up for this. How and I know this is a I hate to say this, but how accurate are is the Zillow in that neighborhood? Is it way high? Is it way low? What is it roughly at? Um you know this better than anyone. Mostly we've been looking on prop streams and just going on there. Okay, like, what about the prop stream estimated value? What what is that at roughly? It's around 160. Okay. Yeah. So and the assessed value by the state is like 145. Yeah. Okay. Which is obviously okay. way lower than it should be. So I mean That's that good. was so incredible. I think depends how much work, but not much, very light repair. Yeah. Like it's, accent, it's, like, it's, 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 you, you can there, live right? in it other than the garage has to be like restructured that's the one that's that's found the re- garage is detached like it's ready to move in it's not okay um so you're roughly should i make 10 should i make 20 on it yeah let's just do uh 217 okay see what happens right? yeah so like, you're gonna leave a little bit on the bone i know that kind of sucks but you know what it's better just to get this thing snatched out and right we can see man yeah yeah Yeah, because we i did follow like your mailchimp uh like that like template where like our funds i'd rather you call buyers honestly okay and we do have a couple buyers that like are we've seen that they have linked properties that were like in the area too yeah we just sent out i did like a mass email like i sent out to around like like i did that facebook thing where i did like at gmail.com i found a bunch of cash buyers they're all like yeah you get the area. address out? Um, no. So that's yeah. another thing we wanted to ask you about. Like when yeah. I do send that out, I got a little scared. First, I, yeah, I, I was just sending the market or like what the neighborhood is <laughs> too. But anyway, um, so that was good with that. Um, shoot, I totally Mailchimp. Um, yeah. So like the address. Well, I got there. questions for you. So let, let, all right, let, let's just I'll ask you the questions then. All right. Okay. So let's do seventeen grand. All right. Let's just be. I, I, I'm leaning on doing 20, but you don't have a lot of buyers. So let's just leave three grand to just get scooped up easy. Okay. Let's call the buyers that are legit. My rule for you, if they haven't bought two houses for cash in the past year, we're not dealing with them. Okay. It's very important. So there's Go this ahead. one person that has six linked properties, but he's been out of the market for a few years, but he bought one like like a, less than a mile away for like a pretty high number and he rents it. Okay. So like, that's Is he the only them out? Yeah. yeah. Verified? It's on PropStream. It's six linked properties. Okay. Well, I just verify it with the guy. Yeah. Sure. Let's make an yeah. exception for that. Yeah. Okay. Because that was the guy that's like has a house the closest and that was we're probably- do Did you, Have you talked to this guy before? Yeah. Yeah. We talked Price to 17. Call the guy up. Okay. So mm-hmm. yeah. So going back to the address thing. So we should obviously qualify them and know that- You got to qualify them. Okay, so fully ask for like proof of funds and everything before I ask, send them the address. Proof of funds, maybe like if they if they're weird about proof of funds, how many properties do you own? Stuff like that. 
Okay. Like get legit. Make sure they're a legit real estate investor. Right. That's it. Okay. You shouldn't even believe I'm a real estate investor. If I'm going to buy a house from you, I'll, let me spit out five houses I bought last month just okay. to prove to you. Don't believe anybody. Yeah. All right. Should we ask for like proof if we're like, should we be like, yeah, can you send over like the two properties that you have and we'll look in the Give me the addresses. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if also like bank of <laughs> bank statements and stuff like that too. Bank statements are important too. Um, but uh, if they are, if they claim they're a real estate investor, they own rentals, yeah. catch them on a lie if they're lying. Okay. If they're, I'm scared to find, there's, there's two identical people your age that bought a guru course that want to get your deal under contract just to JV it and blast it out 10,000 people on email and screw you. Okay. They're looking to screw you. See, that's what people watch this that are chomping on the bed because that's what their course guru said. Yeah. So how are we going to separate those people from you? How many houses do you own? That's it. Or how many houses do you flip? Yeah. Okay. So All you my suggest- cash buyers have at least flipped two houses. Okay. Fair so, when I call these, so when I call these guys up, should I just be like, like what would you be willing to pay for a two bed, one bath in blank area. Like, should I ask that before? Uh, no, I would say I, I would I would kind of dangle a carrot in front of them. Hey, yeah. I have a property under contract in the zip code. Get in the okay. zip. I'm not too scared to give out a zip. Um, okay. Don't give it out on this live stream, but yeah. over the phone. And I was seeing if anybody's looking to buy it. Okay. That's it. Well, we kind of did that. And like, we, we, we had literally like 20 people respond buyers and they said like, <laughs> like we put out three places that like, we were like, yeah, we're looking at houses in these three places. And the one that we have under contract, every buyer was like, yeah, that uh, yeah. place. Yeah, it's that a good place. area. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I don't Perfect. know. We know we're wholesalers too. Cause we said like, now hey, we got to qualify them. Right. Okay. So go through the questions at freerolsing.com and ask the buyers. They pass it, okay. send them the address right. and, and they're going to give you a yes, that works. Yes, that doesn't work. Once they say it works. Okay. What's a good time for me? To go by the property and look at is it a vacant house? No. Okay, that sucks. So we're gonna I think in my personal opinion got two two to three walkthroughs at most. Okay. So we're gonna have to get a solid guy that you know is verified, that is okay with your title company, knows they're paying for it, knows you're gonna make an assignment fee, and you're yeah. okay that whatever your contract price plus 17. And if they're okay with all that, they're like super committed, boom, walk them through the house. That's it. Hey, Mr. Oh, Seller is cool. okay. My partner wants to go by, get some estimates of the property. Is that okay? Boom, that's it. Yeah, we told her that we would that our inspection period was mostly for us to walk by with our parts. Find your most solid buyer, walk them through and go from there, man. Okay. okay. And then one last thing. So this garage that I said needs to be repaired. We didn't really know it was there. This was a driving for dollars, but like we got a lot good when we did. So we didn't know that there was like a really shitty garage attached. So I was thinking that we could possibly attempt to renegotiate. Should we do that at closing or should we do it soon? Um, do the walkthrough first. Yeah. Okay. And then be like, yeah, uh, after, after we start. Talk to John over there. Whew, that's going to be a lot more than I thought. But let, let's see what happens. Let, let's kind of see what the, how the walkthrough goes. Okay. Let's, yeah, not get, let's not get too greedy. Let's don't, yeah. Sorry. You know Story Acres. Don't get too close to the sun. So yeah. let's just try to get this deal done first. Okay. okay. So you know the rule, man. Get the most solid buyers possible, mm-hmm. and then we can start doing that. And once we get the proof of funds from them, obviously it's okay to send them the address and everything. Send them the address. So. But they got to be like super oh, – that price works. I'm yeah. ready to buy it. Okay, let's walk through it. So uh, I don't need to walk through the guy and go like, eh, nah, it don't work. Yeah. Right? Like they gotta be completely on board with it. Yeah. Um, and I guess the last thing I wanted to ask, I'm pretty sure the answer I, I'm pretty sure I know the answer already. But I kind of like once we once you signed the contract, I called her up. I'm like, congratulations. Like, I'm happy we got to help you like get this property off your hands. Um, and then she kind of asked me, she's like, I don't have to be present for uh, for bringing like the contract over or anything like that, or because because we're in Iowa and the abs she, she has to bring over the abstract and she's wanting to drop it off. So I would just want she she doesn't like sign off on anything you you wouldn't think, right? Where does she live? Um, in Des Moines. Yeah, in Des Moines. I'd get with, just ask for the top. Ask the telecom is the easiest way for the seller to be close. Yeah, I know it's it's, it's rough too because we 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 sent it to her on like a Friday. And our title company is closed on Saturday and Sunday. So yeah. like, here we have like the 48 hours to bring like the EMD and everything over to the title 48 company. 48 hours from business day. So you're fine. Oh, oh yeah. really? Oh, no way. Yeah, it's business day. Oh, we were freaking out. Oh. Like, damn. It's going to be business day, whatever the contract is, but don't yeah, we use in trouble contract. for it. Okay. And then also, so your what are check, though, your check for the EMD? The yeah. date is should be Friday because you wrote that check on Friday, right? <laughs> Wait, say again? Your EMD check, you wrote that on Friday. The date should be Friday, dated Friday right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And then, so we're most likely going to have to do a money order. Like, I don't know. Because we, we, last time when anywhere. we put money down on a different house, we just, we brought in cash. They're like, this isn't typical, but they still accepted it. You so need that. Cool. Um, 
What Lame. bank do you guys use? It's both Chase. Chase? Chase is usually pretty good. They'll, they'll give you probably a check for free, honestly. Yeah. They're pretty yeah. good. They're not bad. All right. Um, but, uh, hey, if you have a question, let me know. Like, I, that's okay. a good question to have. My always yeah. answer is, let, that's a good title question. Let me ask my title person, and they'll help you make it as smooth as possible. Okay. I'm not a title agent. I'm a, I buy houses. So yeah. that's it. Okay. Right. One short, short question. Sure. Let's say we get a buyer to sign the contract, but our closing is very is almost is a little less than two months, just because they have to move out and stuff, and mm -hmm. they gotta get a new house and stuff. So, is it basically just a waiting game? Like, I just call her every like week or so, like in between. You were in the convenience game, okay? Whatever makes the seller happiest, you do. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mister Seller, whenever you're ready to go. Yeah, that's that's basically what we did. That's why it took so long. Yeah. Yeah. Within two months. And we'll do it. Yeah. Every time like, scenario, Mr. Seller, if it's, you know, an extra month, okay, well, we can do okay. an extension. I don't want to do it, but if you have to, don't feel too stressed out. Okay. Because when you okay. get a seller stressed and backed in the corner, that's when they want to zip out of there. Okay. Let them know, hey, you know, you guys are nice. You'll do what you say. You're good to go. Sweet. Sounds good. Perfect. All right. Oh, well, congrats, guys. Great job. Proud of you. Thank now you. it's time to get to work. Sounds okay. good. Thank, Thank you. you. I, I'm so sorry. Can I ask you one more question? Sure. Okay, this one I like kind of forgot until just now. And basically, I'm I was talking to the seller, and she said that it was originally assessed as a two, two bed, one bath. And then it was a reassessed as a one bed, one bath. And I was kind of just curious because I called the city and I asked them, and they said they could like change it to a two bed, one bath. But on Zillow, when you search it up, it still shows up as a one bed, one bath, obviously. And I'm just curious if we should market it as a bedrooms in the property. What was that? When you walked in, how many bedrooms are in there? We haven't even done it. We haven't done a walkthrough. We've done it all like virtually. Basically. Pictures? Yeah. Uh, she's like sending us more right now, but. We got like half of them. Yeah. Like, like I don't know. She didn't send us a picture. Pictures? How many bedrooms are there? Like you just. Yeah. She said there's a rocket scientist. There are two bedrooms in here. Yeah. There are one ba bedrooms in here. Okay. But I think it can. Like it, it, it was originally a two bed, one bed. So we That's should mark it as How many rooms have beds in it? Okay. It. Well, there's one bedroom. room. One bed. So then. I don't she, care what it's assessed at. I don't care what the county has it is. How many rooms are in there? Yeah. That's what it's going to be marketed for. It's the only one that's like assessed as a one bed, one bath in the entire. And everything else is two well, bed. Walk one in there and see. And it's the same school. Yeah. Okay. Bro, you might walk in. There's only one bedroom. Yeah. Who knows? Until yeah. you lay your eyes on it, that, that's how you're going to market it. Okay. Okay. That's it. All right. All right. Party guys. Keep it up.